incredibly rare. It was the only one they had, and I grabbed it. Oh my god. Dude. But look at all these anthias. Big bag alert. The most beautiful fish there is. One of our dream corals. All right, so I got some food here to feed. Oh, what's hey. up, fellas? It's it so insane. Blaine, you like the new whip? I love the new whip. It's really nice. I can't uh, wait to uh, do all kinds of things with this amazing U-Haul truck. It's gonna be awesome. Are you implying that we're gonna do something in the back of it? All right, why do we have such a big U-Haul? Well, because all of our vans are currently on service. I just made fun of Blaine for not knowing how to use a camera as I just filmed twice. An uh, entire intro. An entire intro of me, not while recording, because I hit the side power button. But we got a 20 foot U-Haul because we had 50 boxes of fish coming. I'm not even going to do the same intro because that was exhausting to get all out. But let's go ahead to the airport and get these fish unboxed and figure out what we got ordered. Oh, oh. Alright, Blaine. I'll uh, see you at the... Okay, bye. See you. I don't know if you can reach it. Alright, I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you have to come back to the airport, huh? Yeah, yeah. Colson, uh, well, my hair is insane right now. Colson got his A's and M's mixed up, and it said PM, not AM, which was about 30 boxes on that one order. I mean, what is nice is we don't have to do it all in one shot. Like, yeah. we can do all this first. For sure. But we definitely went a little too big with the U-Haul now. Yeah. In uh, the words of uh, Step Brothers. There's so much room for activities. So much room. It's <laughs> way too much room. <laughs> but I guess that's what we got right now. So back to the store to do these, I think there's 23 boxes here, which is still a hefty load, not what we were expecting. And now I have to be here at nine o'clock at night. Awesome. All right, so we got that shipment. This little shipment came in the mail. And these boxes behind me. We got 17 more coming at 9 p.m. Let's start with these. Okay. This is Biota, so there's all captive bread stuff. Let's see what we got. Big bag alert! It, it's just a bunch of little it's bags. A bag inside of a uh, bag. You can't move your legs? That's what yeah, you, can't. you're really complaining? Sure. You can't move your legs? Yeah. What, what do you think I can do? You can huh? still move them. Aptasia file fish. Oh, they are very the tiny. Two. So two, four. Four Aptasias. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. All right, what are we, what are we doing here? The bottom of the box just, like, I lifted it <laughs> and it just is gone. Getting down to the second layer here. Ooh, that's sore. Okay, what do you What do you sore from? I went to the gym yesterday. For like the first time in your life? Well, the second time actually. Uh, no, I've been a couple of times, but first time I've done legs since I've been going to. Oh boy. Well, now that we're doing this shipment, now we just got another shipment that showed up. Shout out Pro Aquatics. Three more boxes. Yeah. So yeah. What are these? Oh. Uh, rabbit fish? Orange spot rabbits? Uh, yeah, the orange line rabbits. Captain Bread. Are they orange line or orange spots? Orange lines. So Biota does only Captain Bread stuff. So we get file fish, rabbit fish, yellow tangs. Yellow tangs is what they're famous for. Those should be in this box. Well, before that box, we got this box. All right, now that we've added three more boxes to the collection, here are our yellow tanks. Now they're gonna be super pale because they're stressed out and haven't shipped. Sometimes they do come in a little paler, but once they start eating, they will look like this. This is actually our yellow tank in our display tank here. Perfectly yellow, perfectly normal looking. Hey Chris. These ones are actually a pretty good size. Like yeah, they're chunky. There should be a dozen of them. Four, five. All right, so this is like the crown jewel of the shipping. This is a captive bred potter's angel. Beautiful, fish. beautiful. A little stressed out right now, but juvenile potters, captive bred pipefish. I don't remember ordering that. Me neither. I don't even remember it on the invoice. Cause it's not. Okay, so we got. Some <laughs> this will be my bonus for staying till midnight. <laughs> Maybe that's the fish that I put in the twenty gallon, but it's not gonna really produce much waste like I need. But that'd be kind of cool. All twelve accounted for. Yep, they're all here. Potter's Angel's already sold, I think. Customers coming in to check it out. But other than that, that's that's really it for this shipment. So just unlike the live video that you guys absolutely love, this one has a bunch of our box numbers, which makes our life a lot easier because there's a 17 boxes over there. All right. Hey, so somebody said I was their favorite fish. Someone also thought we were in a couple. What? Yeah, that, I got that comment this morning. Maybe we I, I responded with absolutely. What? So what box is this, three? All right, this is, this is a pretty good box to start off with. Oh, there's, there's some... All right, we got four big bags here. So big, big bag alert. Bag alert. Big bag alert. Starting off strong. This box is just straight Golden bangers. spot hog. We call them banana tusks, banana right? Tusk? Yeah. yeah. All right, it's going to be a big boy that size that Dude, bag. Dude, you can't even see them in here. The only problem with this shipment is I'm unboxing is all these bags are blacked out, which is good for the fish so they're not stressed out, but we can't see them. Not good for the camera. Exactly. But you'll see them when they're opened up. Oh, he's a good size. 
Well, at least I could see it. I, don't know. I saw like a little tail flash. Yeah, by. there he is. There he is. Again, we'll see it. We'll see it outside the bag. Uh, ow, ow. The next two are the same fish. Oh boy, golden seminal of artist butterflies. I don't know if you can see them at all. Try, I could kind of see the facial markings. These are gonna one. be sick. Yeah, these are beautiful fish. Let's get start flying through this, and we'll figure out what's left. All right, Colson, there should be a, there's, I was going to say, there should be a big bag it's alert in this box. It's huge, but it's big. I don't really care about the smaller stuff, so let's just see the big bag. We got a French angel. Which you cannot see at all, really? so we'll show you later. Yeah, you definitely can't see that. Oh, look, more boxes. Bro, it doesn't stop. I don't know how I'm going to get these inside. I was just finishing up lunch, and uh, more boxes showed up. It's crazy times. All right, next box. Box number four. Box four. Oh, boy. Big bag alert. Big bag alert. Four big bag alerts. Oh boy. We got a gem tank. I don't think you can see him. Yeah, it's just a These black bags record. are not fun, but it does help <laughs> the fish out. Uh, La Booty. Is that how you say it? La Booty. That's a big bag for La Booty. Right? How big is this rat? Oh, oh my god. god. Yo, hold up. Let's see if I can get a flashlight on here. You can't see it. That thing is a. There you I go. Can that see is it. a beast. Jeez. Dude, that's gonna be awesome. And then last but certainly not least, or I don't know, I don't really know what it is. It should be left. Another gem tank. Cha-ching! Alright, well, th thanks for walking in front of my camera. We're gonna do all the farmland stuff first, because there's there's a lot of antheus and butterflies that gotta go into... God, Colson. Hey, I'm trying to work. <laughs> they gotta go into the bin. This is all the stuff that's just fresh water dip. We got a lot of that, so we're gonna get going on that in the blink of an eye. Oh! And yeah, we got some color. Sorry, we're doing some construction outside. But look at all these antheus. We have chromis and then liar tail antheus. I think there's a threadfin butterfly in there as well. We have, ignore ignore those. Uh, there's a mix of carberry and sunset antheus here. Three heniocus butterfly, a yellowhead butterfly, Kleins. And a Colson. And a Colson. And then of course, three beautiful golden artist butterflies. Just studs. Let's go ahead and get these guys in the formalin for their 45 minutes to an hour dip. Now that those guys are in the formalin dip, we're gonna go through our regular fish. There are some more out there. And then of course there's the shipment that we still have to unbox. Underwater and then world. that one and we also have to go pick up. all the clownfish, so those okay. are all good. But then we also have later tonight, we're going to go get another shipment as well. Yes. So we're going to start working through this. Um, I'm not really going to show you much of this because it's got a lot of stuff to go through. And I want to be done with this and not waste my time. So I'll show you stuff when it's cool. Well, all fish are cool. But the really cool, unique stuff, I will definitely show you that. So let's get on bagging, I guess. Billion purple tangs, a billion Hellfreechy firefish. Why do we have so many? Because these are going to be on special this weekend. These are like, they're both like, these are like 75% off. Hellfreechies are like 50% off. Crazy deals. And then we have this special guy in the corner. You might think, oh, it's just an orange shoulder tank. That is an orange shoulder and Lieutenant Tang hybrid tank. Incredibly rare, comes up only once in a blue moon. I think this was the only one they had and I grabbed it. When they grow up, they're really pretty fish. Yeah, super rare. That's probably one of the more unique things. We're gonna get these guys in their freshwater dip for five minutes. In our next set, we have our two gem tangs, some dories, a beautiful red chorus rest. Look at that. Some azure danzels over here. We have two pairs of blue throat triggers, three spotted sweet lips, a powder brown, and we got this beast. That is the banana tusk. That thing is sweet. That's a nice size too. Look at the little baby. Look at the pattern on him. That's really cool. That's a beautiful shark. Little baby. Ow! I'm just
are in front of our beautiful box truck that was on maintenance today or installed today. So that's why we had the U-Haul earlier. But now I get to drive this thing. It's a little darker outside right now because, oh, there, there's the kid. Almost nine o'clock now. Shipment's almost ready. We're gonna go get food real quick. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. So we have our box truck now, but let's go ahead to the airport. We uh, just finished a beautiful dinner at Texas Roadhouse and now we're going to the airport. We uh, probably should have checked before we left. Yeah. Y'all be any louder, bro. Right. Finally, 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 finally. 10 o'clock at night? Yeah, this is gonna be a late night. Extremely. And we have actually have a couple more boxes, but back to the store nonetheless. We'll be here in a second. I'm exhausted. So we're just gonna head back to the store now. As much as I would love to help, um, yeah, I can't really help. Oh, look at the dream team making it work. All right, got the boxes in the store. I'm exhausted, so I'm really just gonna not show anything until we have it in the dips, because I just wanna go home. Sorry for lack of effort, but here we go. All right, they're cruising through it. Slowly, let's Shirley. Ah! Big bag alert. Big bag alert. Perfect timing. Oh, <laughs> Big bag alert. I don't know what this is, Oh my huge. God. What do you, I don't even know what it, uh, I guess it's a tang of some sort. Oh, it's a powder blue. I could see Holy it. It's a monster. <laughs> it's a monster powder blue. All right, we got a mound of fish. Yeah, there's a lot to go. We're we'll start with the formalin stuff. This is just going to be pink square anthias. So there we go. Four females, two males. And to formalin, they go. Start the time lapse. <laughs> a bin full of fish sweet lips nasos bicolor angel beautiful desjardini flame angels flame hawks nasos and then this is just a bit of timini's coral beauties and scissor tail darts obviously these guys are gonna be our ticket you know main attraction sale items these are you know great deals in here they still got to get fresh water dipped treat all our fish the same so let's grab our top basket pop them in the fresh water you know when it comes to my favorite fish i always forget about these guys like there's like the standard queen lenardi ras harlequin toss like you're kind of bread and butter achilles tangs and then we always get these guys in this is so pretty dude i didn't even and realize how pretty they were i forget every time but this it i just gotta show you this is like the most beautiful fish there is i mean come on there's blue, red, purple, yellow. It's electric. It's is insane. So pretty. Oh my god. Let's see. Can we get this? This might be the favorite fish of the day. For yeah, me. no, for sure. We don't get these guys very often. It's it's tough to come by. And we grabbed all of them from the supplier. These these are purple tile fish. Yeah, these are these are insane. Unreal. I mean, this is nature at its absolute finest. Also joining this round is a beautiful unicorn tang. One of my favorite tangs, the Makulaseps tang. We got a big evil angel. Oops, sorry, everybody. Big evil angel, two emperors, and three white tail tangs. But these, these are insane. Insane. We are flying through that. It's all done. The only thing that is left is all the big fish. That's all we got left. So, now that's a lineup. <laughs> Look, when I said big, I mean... These fish are the size of my hand. First of all, this orange shoulder. Look at the purple down the face. Top five tang. I can't think off the top of my head, but I mean, this is one of my favorite tangs. Monster hippo tang. Beautiful nasal. Look on the thorns on that thing. That would ruin your day. Those are insane spines. And then just a monster powder blue. Killer lineup for our end caps, our big display tanks. Eli's doing the last fish now, but our fish wall. You can see the lights are off in the store. It's about midnight right now. It's slammed. Absolutely slammed. So I think we call it a night. I'm gonna get home. Colson's putting some extra decorations in so the fish don't fight because there's a lot of them right now. We're gonna go home, check on all the fish tomorrow. So I will see you in the morning. All right, so I got some food here to feed. Oh, what's hey. up, fellas? Hey, guys. How you doing? So we got this puffer bought by Jack and Lauren, I believe. Yep. So we're gonna go show Paul just how much his puffer eats. I mean, he's sitting there waiting. Show us, Jed. Okay. Not, not the oh, fingers, not, not my fingers. fingers. Yep. Dude, he's actually wrong, going. Wrong spot, but there you go. Yeah, just, just take it, just take it. Nice. And you know what's great? He's eating silver sides. You know what I feed my pond? I'm assuming silver sides. I'm assuming, assuming, assuming is right. Good silver sides, baby. <laughs> so that's nice. Look at him chop that stuff right now. Oh, yeah. oh my on. God. <laughs> that's crazy. I got one more. I got one more. Yeah, absolutely down that thing. You don't want that rasp messing with it. He's like, get out of here. There's another one, dude. You better down see here. it. Down Your down homies here. are going to get it. Turn, oh, dude, oh, turn around, turn around. And there it goes. Look at my down to the bottom. He'll, he'll find it. 
Oh, he'll see eventually. Dude, he's he just ate the whole thing. He ate the whole thing. Oh my gosh, look at that lionfish. Dude, you're gonna bro. choke. They are so beautiful. The lionfish we have in our predatory pond. We okay, as most of you know, I still film on my phone because I haven't probably fully committed as much as I should have. That's um, all right, though. Step by step. Step by step. I want to, you know, prove a concept first. Yeah. And thanks to this guy, he gifted me a camera. I he mean, you a Canon M50 now. I did bring your flip flops back. Yeah, that's were in my truck for quite some time. <laughs> but uh, I used to film with this this camera. This was the camera I always filmed with, the Canon M50. It's a great camera for those watching that are looking for something affordable, and it's a great way to start and get your foot in the door. And even I use this in to over two million subs I have using this camera still. So it's a very good camera, great great camera for affordability wise, good quality. Saturation from Canon is better than Sony in my opinion. Can't beat this. And your lenses should fit this exact camera. Oh, perfect. Like no, you know I got the whole mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, these, these for they this screw camera, in? They screw in, yes. Yeah, this one doesn't have the end cap on it. Regardless, it still the same works. size. Yeah. These cameras are, this is the best you can get right here for the price. So all you gotta do is get a Rode Mic Pro. Yep. You guys have your own vlogging setup ready to go. Wow. So the quality should change next video. Huge shout out to Paul. It's amazing uh, the friendship that we have built over, what is it, four, four years now? A couple of years, man. Yeah. Three, four years now. But we, we still talk like every day, but it, it goes beyond fish, honestly. We talk business, it everything. It um, does. I mean, I do. I come yeah. here, I get amazing fish. You guys hook it up, you prepare the store, it's ready, it's clean. It's always yeah. a nice time coming and filming here. The very least I could do is give you a camera. You I know? appreciate it, buddy. So, much love, man. Oh, and down goes the crutch. I caught it. So now available at Top Shelf Aquatics. Yeah, I think we're gonna start. Uh, we'll be a supplier. Hell yeah! First, first brick and mortar location. Yeah, first one. <laughs> Pay it forward, Gio. You're Pay such it a forward, right, such a good guy. There you go, my boy. Ethan, congrats. Nice Thank you, man. Well, Gio regifting. <laughs> All right, what you got in there in your hand, there, kid? Honestly, the time has finally come, you guys. Oh my gosh, you're filming on an iPhone, dude. Good thing you got that M50 today. I know. Shout out Anyways. to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> we got. One of our dream corals right behind the rainbow splice. We are adding a newly grafted coral to our tank. We have the raspberry splice for you guys. Jed just blessed me with a frag of fruity splice. I cannot get over it. Look at this face. How can I say I no to this on, face? Bro. I'm going to be ear to ear until I'm home. Until it dies. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Oh my God. No. <laughs> there he goes. See you later, McGregor. Are you what is his name? His name is McGregor. McGregor. All right, it's very early in the morning. Yeah, it's like pitch black outside. We are headed into the store to pre-bag everything for Black Friday or pre-Black Friday. All that massive fish shipping you just saw is all on sale this weekend or whenever this video comes out. So I guess it's probably last weekend. It's kind of like a preview of what real Black Friday is. And I wanted to show you guys as much as possible what Black Friday is like at Top Shelf Aquatics because it's nuts. So we have all of our pre-bags and all our door busters is what we call them. There's a billion sales that are going on. So I'm gonna transform and I will see you when we get to Top Shelf and I'll show you all of our door busters. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our pre-Black Friday setup. It's about six o'clock at night, so we've been pretty ran through already, but this is just how our Black Friday is. It's, it, if not, it's even crazy. It is crazier than this. This is about half of the deals that we have on Black Friday. So you can see we pre-bag a bunch of stuff, so you just grab and go. It's the best deals in the town, everywhere. So definitely wanna see you guys there, but until next time, I'll see you then.